What is the first thing that comes to mind when you're asked, what do we all have in common? We're humans. We all have a common ancestry. Or perhaps the fact that we all share one home, Earth. This means that we are responsible for it and whatever happens. Therefore, what is the correct concept in which this responsibility is recognized? Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to global citizenship. Global citizenship is defined as a way of living that recognizes that our world is an increasing web of connections and interdependencies, one in which our decisions and actions may have repercussions on the community. I consider myself as a global citizen. As someone who identifies with being part of an emerging community and whose actions contribute to the community's values. Even so, I am not abandoning my identity, such as my allegiance to my country, South Sudan, or my ethnicity and my beliefs. These traditional identities give meaning to my life and help shape who I am. However, as a result of living in a globalized world, I understand that I have an added layer of responsibility. We are responsible for being members of a worldwide community of people who share the same global identity that we have. Climate change. Climate change is one of the major challenges of our time and adds considerable stress to both our societies and the environment. It is due to our selfish reasons that food production is affected and we, as we speak, Kenya faces food shortages due to recurring drought. Did you know that a report by the UN states that one in nine people do not get enough food to be healthy and lead an active life? In addition, around 29,000 children under the age of five die every day around the world. This is due to preventable causes like poverty and malnutrition and etc., but rarely makes headline news. Sadly, too often, we focus on what divides us, but shouldn't we unite ourselves? Historically, people have always formed communities based on shared identity. Shouldn't our leaders unite us rather than use divisive rhetoric? I appeal to all of you sitting here to embrace the idea of a global identity. The world faces global challenges, which require global solutions. This calls for far-reaching changes in how we think and act, and I believe that global citizenship is the key to shaping our future because it helps us create a sense of belonging to a common humanity, creating a fairer world, and hence helping learners to feel obligated and responsible to be active global citizens. The youth can learn to be active global citizens through global citizenship education. This is a form of civic learning that involves students' active participation in projects that address global issues of an environmental, political, social, or economic nature. It educates and prepares people for their role in the modern world, which begins with an exploration and appreciation of different cultures, languages, and economies. For example, at Brookhouse, global citizenship is achieved through diverse engagements such as internationalism and learning foreign languages, to name a couple. These activities help us to become more open-minded and to bridge cultural gaps which make us better global citizens. Imagine living in a world without worrying about global change. Imagine living in a world without war or poverty. Action on our issues is cheaper than inaction. If we all participate in the search for solutions to our global issues as active global citizens, then we'd live sustainably in a more equitable world. After all, actions do speak louder than words. Therefore, I urge you all to be great global citizens. If we don't solve our issues, if we don't save our planet, and if our words are meaningless, then what future will we have to shape? In the words of Rangari Mathai, 
It is the little things that citizens do. That's what will make the difference. Wouldn't you want to be remembered because of the small difference you made in this world? Thank you.